Welcome back. Can't believe you're still here. Can't believe we're at episode 12. Insert caption title of episode 12. What are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Should I start thinking of topics beforehand? I thought about on my way to the car just now, I thought about planning out topics ahead of time and putting it on the steering wheel here so I could stay on topic. It might be, might not be a bad idea. Put a little more thought into the pointless conversations. I noticed uh, right before I pushed record, I got some stray grays here. These stubborn guys won't sit down. See that? You see that? Yeah, I'm getting grays. What of it? I would rather go gray than go bald. But I'm going both, so. So there's that. Had a pretty good day at work today. Um, not super busy. But also, there's some stuff to do, so. A lot of times when I talk about my job with people who don't know what I do, I say things like, it's a job. One of those, one of those cliches that uh, I feel like everyone knows what that means. Yeah, it's, it's a job. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't know if it's my dream job. I don't really know what my dream job would be if I, if someone asked me what it is. favorite job that I've ever had was probably uh, being a laborer for a, for a brick block mason, stone mason. It was probably the hardest job I've ever had, physically hardest, but I worked with my best friend he was the foreman and the boss, the owner of the company. It was, that was mason, basically masonly, basically what it was for the whole time that I worked there, just the three of us. And I enjoyed being outside most of the time. I enjoyed uh, the work most of the time. It was, it wasn't too bad. I saw muscles that I had never seen before. These ones, was that the lat? Is that what, or is that the trap? Lats, traps, I always get confused. But whatever this one is, under the armpit. Because uh, if you've ever worked in construction, well, maybe masonry specifically, not just any construction you would know that you have to carry buckets of mud, which is what we call the concrete, around the job site, and you hold it out to, your, out to the side of your body so you don't scrape your knees up on the bucket. So you gotta get that strength from this muscle. And also bricks, you get brick tongs that hold like 10 or 12 bricks you want to walk around like that, and you don't want those scraping against your leg when you're wearing shorts in the middle of summer. So you have to develop specific muscles. And like my shoulders and stuff from lifting up buckets onto the scaffolding. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed the weather, the being outside. I don't know about the weather, because I would complain a lot about the sun, or if it was real cold. 
I'd probably complain about that. But I, in hindsight at least, I did enjoy being outside. And I did enjoy like the physicality of it. And I really enjoyed the guys that I worked with. We had a really good time, most of the time. And even when we weren't having a good time, uh, we were laughing at whoever was having the worst time. And I don't know if you'll ever see this, but the funniest thing that ever happened was when my buddy, my best friend, he was learning how to lay block. And for some reason, the, uh, the mud wouldn't stick to the block and it would, it would just scrape it on and it would just fall right off. And this whole time, you know, he's holding this you know, eight inch block so his hand would start getting like cramped up while he's trying to stick on this, the mud to the block so he could lay it. And he got just the maddest. And it was hilarious. And one day, that happened probably quite a bit, but one day in particular, it was windy out. And he was throwing a fit. And he kicked a bucket, a five gallon empty bucket, just in anger. And the, the wind carried it probably a hundred yards. It just kept. And it was one of the most comedic things I've ever seen in person. And he didn't think it was funny. He was probably madder than he was before the bucket. I think that made it worse. <laughs> I miss those days. We didn't make any money. I didn't. Uh, it wasn't wasn't a well-paying job. And the worst part of it was that it wasn't consistent. It was kind of weather dependent. So in the winter, there was there was days and a couple of weeks long stretches of no work. And I had I had just gotten married. I think I, I started doing it before I got married, but I was engaged, and so I was a newlywed, not making a lot of money, and not working a lot of hours consistently so I had to, had to find something more stable and that's when I got into the tire industry actually 2008 and tires have been pretty good to me I, I say it's a job with a negative tone but it's not a bad job I still work with people that I enjoy. I still complain a lot, which isn't a good habit. And in hindsight, I'll probably say that I complained wrongfully about a lot of things. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful for my job. But it wasn't it wasn't what I imagined I would be when I was a kid, you know. And that's fine. God has blessed me with my job. Not in spite of my job. Blessed me with my job. And if he, uh, if it's his will that I stay in this role, in this uh, industry until I retire, it'll be good. Praise God. If it's his will that I do something else, uh, good. Praise God. Part of me feels like I'm trying to convince myself of that. But even then, I think it's a good, it's a true thing. I should be content with the job that I'm in. Right? Right? Hmm. What's ambition? Is ambition the opposite of contentment? I know I talked about contentment maybe in my first video. And I don't really mean to do it again, but uh, 
but feel I don't feel anxious to get out of my job so I guess that is a level of contentment you know like it would be cool to be able to do something that I did I wanted to stay late and do and I couldn't wait to do it I enjoyed it it would be cool but I don't need that and if I uh felt like I needed that, I think that would be a problem. And I think that I should speak to myself in a way that reminds me that it's good to keep doing what I'm doing and to do my best, no matter, no matter what uh, job, no matter what task I'm given, to do my best and to be, to give all the glory to God, which is a, uh, you know, Oscar speech cliche, but it's very true. So whether I am completely sincere at this moment about that or not, I'm gonna keep saying it. All right, I'm home. That was my drive home. Uh, nice day today. I think I'm gonna spend some time with the kids. Maybe outside, go for a bike ride or something. Have a nice afternoon evening. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.